Okay, listen to this. And I'm warning you, don't watch this video till the end because you will get really hungry and then you'll blame me. But if you look at it, that's my job over here. Today we're making a winter special, Moong Dal Ghosh. Succulent pieces of mutton cooked in Moong Dal and a few spices. It's a recipe that you definitely need to try because one bite into it and you will say, Okay, let's begin. The point is to make this whole recipe in a pressure cooker. So we're going to start off with cooking the mutton first. So we're going to start off with heating some mustard oil. You can use regular oil or ghee as well. Into this, we're going to add some whole spices and just fry this for 30 seconds. Then we're going to add the cumin seeds. Let that fry for a few seconds. After which, we're going to add the sliced onions to this. Add a little bit of salt and just fry the onions on medium heat for at least 8 to 10 minutes till the onions start to brown and caramelize like this. And for me, this took about 8 to 9 minutes. Now, as far as the mutton goes, I'm using different cuts of the goat. I've got some leg, shoulder, ribs. I also have some pieces with some good fat on it because this will render nicely and slowly into the dish. And as the onions brown, I'm going to add the meat to this and we're just going to fry the mutton for at least 7 to 8 minutes. As I said, the fat will render and a nice golden color will start to appear on the pieces of mutton. And if you feel certain pieces are starting to burn at the bottom, just add a little water and just scrape that off. Next, we're going to add some slit green chilies along with some fresh ginger and garlic paste. Both these need to fry along with the mutton for another 2 to 3 minutes. Then I'm gonna add all the spice powders. We got some turmeric, red chilli powder, coriander powder and some Kashmiri chilli powder. Fry this on low heat. Make sure you cook the spices for at least 3 to 4 minutes on really low heat. Now I know for a fact that the moong dal will cook much faster than the mutton. So I'm gonna pressure cook the mutton with the spices for one whistle. This will actually cook the spices as well and also accelerate the cooking process of the mutton. So just for one whistle, we're gonna let this go. I'm gonna release the pressure now it's time to add the yogurt along with some salt you can even use black salt i feel black salt adds much more flavor to this dish just cook this on medium heat cover it don't pressure cook it just cover it and just let it simmer you'll see slowly that the oil will start to separate from the masala at this point i'm gonna add the moong dal to this the moong dal has just been washed it's not even soaked it's ekdam kacha so add the moong dal to this stir it combine everything together with that masala now we're gonna add about 600 to 700 ml of water to this and then we're gonna pressure cook it now i really thought this will happen in about three to four whistles so after four whistles i released the pressure i checked the meat but neither the moong dal was cooked nor was the mutton cooked enough so i let this go for another three whistles again on medium low heat and finally it was done you can see all the water has been absorbed by the dal mutton is just there it's just ready to fall off the bone but now we need to adjust the consistency of the dal for this we're gonna add some water along with some milk Mix that up. Remember, as this cools down, it will thicken quite a bit. So make sure you adjust the consistency well. Finally, we're going to add the dill leaves to this along with some chopped green chilies, julienne ginger and a little bit of garam masala. The dill is an absolute game changer for this recipe. It just pairs so well with the mutton. I'm also going to mash up some of that dal to give it a more creamier, thicker consistency. Simmer this for another 5 to 6 minutes. Okay, last few things that you need to do at this point is give it a tadka. Heat up some ghee, add some sliced onion. We're going to fry the onions till they get really nice and golden takes about a minute i'm also adding some chili powder to this and just let it fry as soon as you see the onions get golden just pour this over the mutton i'm also going to add some black salt and chaat masala along with some freshly chopped coriander to just finish and balance off the dish and that is the recipe my friends and i understand this is not an easy recipe but if you follow the instructions and try it out you will fall in love with it so please do try out the recipe and if you watch the video till here don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon like the video now i'm going to eat this and i'll see you guys later Bye.